Welcome back to Air Job Boss. Today I'm going over another question and answer from our pilot interview question and answer series. And today the question is, what is not on your resume that you want us to know? Or what is, what is not on your application that you would like us to know? Um, this is your opportunity to kind of restate the most valuable, important aspects of you as a person to the company and what the company wants. So you're simply going to state to them the things that they want out of you as if they're not on your resume. So obviously your resume has a chronological job experience, your education and your qualifications. So what does it really not say about you that you want them to know? Number one, you want them to know that their airline is your number one pick. So what is not on my resume is the fact that this airline is my number one preferred place to spend the rest of my career and apply my skills, talents, and experience in furthering the goals of your company because I feel that I'm the best, uh, a, a very good corporate fit to your company. That you should probably say during this portion of the interview. Secondly is you're going to say, Although my resume has a complete history of my jobs, my experience, and my qualifications, what it doesn't say is that my personal mindset as a professional pilot, what I've learned over my experience so far, is that my job as a professional pilot is to use my skills, talents, and experience to apply it to the, the mission statement of your company. A lot of pilots don't know that it is not written on my resume, but I am one of the pilots that do possess that ability to put the company in front of myself and to operate your standard operating uh, standard operating procedures, your policies and your culture to further the goals of the company primary rather than just my own. And that is something that is not written on my resume, which I think is very important that you know about me as a professional pilot as it is when I work for your company. Something like that, okay? Number three, address training because Airlines do have a problem, especially as they hire people with less experience get and they have uh, narrower or shorter training intervals. Uh, they're having trouble training pilots or are really having a polished pilot at the end of that training. So when you when they ask you what is what is not on your resume that you want us to know, you're to say something like an example, you could say. Um, I want you to know what it doesn't say is that when I become a member of this airline and I begin my training, I will set aside everything I have in my private life to dedicate myself to getting through that training, learning as much as I need to learn and come out the other end of your training as a well-polished pilot. I am prepared to get information in advance and completely dedicate myself to working with those other people in my class to make sure that we all pass training as effectively as possible and we come out the other end as the highest quality pilot that you deserve uh, after hiring me. And that is not on my resume, but I think it's something in my mind that I think is important for you to know as I begin to work for your company. Okay, so this gives you an opportunity to address the three major areas which companies are worried about. One, do you really want to work there? Is this the place you want to work or are you just doing the interview because you don't have any interview? Tell them this is the priority. This is the place you want to work. Number two, tell them you're a professional and you're going to put the company in front of yourself. You're going to work for the company, the team, the organization, in their culture, according to their policies. And number three, tell them you're going to come well prepared to, 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 to uh, operate through their training curriculum effectively. Okay. Now, of course, there is many other things that you could say, and based on your own background and your own uh, experiences, you will want to customize these answers. Now, this is where one-on-one -on -one preparation is important. So if you'd like to know more about how Air Job Boss can prepare you through one-on-one -on -one interview preparation, you can click the link below at airjobboss.com. Anyway, this is a short and sweet one. Oftentimes, they'll ask something of this nature, and this is a free opportunity to tell them what, that you know what's most important to them. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. Like, subscribe, and share this video if you like, and we'll see you on the next video.